Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox news video. Today, we're proud to announce that LaunchBox 12.5 has been released. And like with all new LaunchBox and big box releases, we have some fixes, some improvements, and some really awesome features. In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the new improvements. We'll go over all the features, but if you're interested in learning more about LaunchBox 12.5 and what's been changed, I will leave a link to the change log in the description. So right off the bat, let's jump right into the new improvements. We've added seven more emulators to the LaunchBox default emulator settings menu. So if we jump over to LaunchBox, head to Tools, Manage, Emulators, we want to set up a new emulator, so we'll choose Add. From the dropdown, we've added a few new ones, like CXBX Reloaded. We've also added RPCS3, so we've got that PS3 emulator ready to go. Standalone Duck Station. BS, NES, and Supermodel. And this just makes it a lot easier to get these emulators set up inside a launch box. So for instance, if we go to RPCS3, we can head right to the website here. We can download the emulator, put it in the correct location, and get it set up quicker than ever for launch box and big box. Next on the list for the new improvements is really just a quality of life change here for Big Box. In Big Box's options menu, items with multiple options will now bring up a selection menu instead of cycling between them. Left will bring you to the previous item, right will bring you to the next item. For instance, we're in the Big Box options right now, we'll just head to Views. So my theme here is Default, I can change all of this from here. If I press left or right, we can cycle through those themes. And if you press enter, it'll bring us up a nice little list here. That way we can choose what we want to edit. I'm just go to bar top here. Just makes it a lot easier to navigate these option menus. Moving up just a bit. Big Box's change view binding now brings up a selection menu. Similar to the change theme binding, instead of just cycling between views. Now both of these are for Big Box, so premium users will have access to these new improvements, and it's just going to make navigating inside of Big Box much easier. So as you can see here, there are more improvements and fixes with 12.5, but I'm really excited about the new features, so let's go ahead and take a look at those. GOG achievements are now available in LaunchBox and BigBox. We can view them in the Games Detail sidebar inside of LaunchBox, or if you're running BigBox, from the Game Details menu. Now let's head over to LaunchBox real quick, I want to show you this. Now when it comes to my GOG games, I don't have a ton of games installed right now. I'll go to Windows. And if I scroll all the way down here, we can see that I do have a few GOG games. Now there's a lot of older free games in GOG that just don't support achievements. So if we scroll down here with Fallout 2, no achievements available. So that means this game doesn't support them. Kind of the same thing with Fallout 1 and Tactics. But for the newer stuff, like The Witcher, Cyberpunk, and newer games that are coming over to GOG, we do have achievements available, and we can view them directly from within LaunchBox and BigBox. So from The Witcher 3, down here. So these are the remaining GOG achievements. And to tell you the truth, I've been playing this in Steam more than I have on GOG, so I don't have any achievements unlocked here. But it will show you a section with your unlocked achievements. But it's really cool to have this option here, and you can just scroll through and find out what you need to do next to unlock that achievement. So we got some hidden ones at the bottom here. So if you wanted to unlock the Globetrotter achievement, you have to discover 100 fast travel points. But yeah, this is really great to have integrated into LaunchBox and BigBox from GOG. And it's just going to make it a lot easier to find out what achievement you need to unlock next. Next on the list for the new features. For Steam games, LaunchBox will pull down Steam's play times instead of manually tracking them. And this goes hand in hand with one of the biggest new features in LaunchBox 12.5 and that's playtime tracking. So it's now available in LaunchBox and BigBox. The time starts when you launch the game and stops when the game closes. It's also going to stop tracking time when you pause the game using the built-in pause screens in LaunchBox and BigBox. So if we head back over to LaunchBox here, I am going to find my Steam games, and I've played a lot of, let's say, um, Doom Eternal. So here's Doom Eternal. This is tracking my time from Steam, so we have 11 hours and 30 minutes of playtime. This is what Steam has tracked so far. Since I have my account linked, it pulled that playtime down for me. Head over to Skyrim here. We got 8 hours on this. GTA 5, uh, 108 hours. So yeah, that's, 
That's a lot of time in GTA 5. But it's really cool that we have this option now. It's not tracking your playtime for Steam games from LaunchBox and Big Box. It's just pulling down your playtime from Steam. Now when it comes to the new playtime tracker for our retro games, we'll go to Sony PlayStation. We'll say Tekken 3. Since this is a brand new feature, I don't have much playtime going. We got 2 minutes and 34 seconds here with Tekken 3. But if I want to go ahead and launch this game again, and I play for a little bit, it's tracking my time in the background right now, and once I exit, it'll show me the extra time that I've added to my playtime in Tekken 3. And once we come back to it, you can see that my playtime has gone up 6 minutes and 10 seconds. So yeah, I mean, this is really awesome. We've had a lot of users asking about playtime tracking, and now it's available with the latest version of LaunchBox. So we're really excited about this release and hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to check out the changelog because there's lots of improvements and fixes. Link for that is in the description. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.